Hi friends, welcome back to Pastor Kevin and Friends. I am so glad that you joined me today. Now, I was thinking, what can I share with you today that would be so meaningful? And, you know, I always like to have Holy Cow with me, but Holy Cow said, I want you to do this. So, let's let him have his way today. And he told me, bring your notebook. Hmm, notebooks are where we keep important information. But you know what? This notebook has all sorts of important information right here on the cover. Information that you need to remember. And also, I want you to know that I made a little prediction. I think I know what you're thinking today. But before we tell you what the prediction is and tell you the answer, I want you to think about these colors. You see this color right here? It's gold. And when I think of gold, I think of something very valuable, very precious, but I also think of heaven. And the Bible tells us that heaven is going to be a beautiful place, that the streets are going to be made of gold. And I can't wait to get to heaven. But there is something that keeps you and me and everybody else out of heaven, and that is our sin. Sin is anything we say, do, or think that goes against God's word, the Bible. The Bible is God's holy word. The Bible says everybody is sin and all have come short of the glory of God. So the black, which is where we usually do sin, is in darkness. That that's reminds us of our being absent from God. Uh, darkness is caused by the absence of light, and Jesus is the light of the world. So when there is sin of our life in our life, there is no light in our life. Here, let me tell you the good news. That sounds pretty sad because if we've got sin, we can't get into heaven. But here's the good news: Jesus died on the cross. He shed his blood. Blood came out of his body. He died for your sins and my sins and everybody else's sins. So though we were blocked by sin, Jesus made a way. And if we we ask Jesus to be our forever friend. We ask Jesus to come into our life and forgive us of all of our sin. He makes it possible that we can go to heaven because our sins have been washed white as snow. There, our sins are no longer held against us because Jesus paid the price for our sins. And when we ask Jesus to be our forever friend, he adopts us into his kingdom. There are a lot of kids I know and some that are just really super special to me that have been adopted into a family. That means they're no longer part of their old family, but they're part of a family that's able to take care of them and love them and give them a new positive and helpful direction. So Jesus has made us, given us the right to become children of God. So I've got this royal blue. We become children of royalty. And after we've asked Jesus into our life, we've asked Jesus to forgive us of our sin. He's washed us white as snow. We're children of the King. He wants us to grow in him. And we grow in him by reading his word, by talking to him in prayer, by coming and worshiping and fellowshipping with other believers and growing in our relationship with him so we know him better and better and he knows us already he knows how many hairs are on our head and for some people it's probably easier for him to count than others right well we grow in jesus and things that are living are growing uh, trees are living so they're growing grass is living so it's growing oh that reminds me i need to mow the grass but things that need to grow and we need to grow by growing in our relationship with jesus so think of a number and i hope we get the same number I'm thinking you're thinking three. No? Oh, um, five. Okay, we'll go with five. F-I-V-E spells five, right? And this is what my prediction was. My prediction is Jesus loves you. You will select white, and that's where we ended up. And God's word says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That's how much Jesus loves you. And I want you to know that not only does Jesus love you, I love you too. And may God bless you, and may you have an awesome day. Bye-bye.